Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today the problem which we're going to see is to add one to a number represented as a linked list. So in this problem, a number is represented in a linked list such that each digit corresponds to a node in the linked list. And we basically have to add the number one to it. So for example, if you have the number one triple nine, so it will be represented as one nine 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 inside the linked list and when you add one to it so you add one to uh, this number then uh, this one triple nine changes to 2000 so this should be our output so the output uh, will also be a linked list and input will also be a linked list in the uh, inputted link linked list you basically have to add the number one so let's look at the uh, steps to solve this problem so First of all, we will reverse the given linked list. So 1999 will be converted to 9991. This I've done so that uh, we can uh, directly add one to the uh, least significant bit. So remember that the when you when you add any number, so the addition starts from the least significant bit, which is uh, this last nine in this case. So uh, we, we are reversing the linked list so that uh, we can start with the least significant bit right away. And after we are uh, done with the second step, then we'll again reverse the modified linked list and then we'll return its head. So in the end, the uh, in the end, we'll again uh, reverse the linked list to get the original linked list. Now, once we have uh, reversed the linked list in step one, then we start reversing the linked list from leftmost node and add one to it so uh, when we add one to it then there could be two scenarios one where the number was smaller than nine in that case uh, when we add one to it then we can just stop uh, that is the first scenario the second scenario will be uh, that the number is nine so when we add one to it it becomes ten so one has to be carried forward to the uh, next significant bit so uh, if there is a carry, move to the next node. Keep moving to the next node while there is a carry. So uh, let's look into the uh, code for this algorithm. So here we have the driver method where we are basically creating the linked list having the value 1999 and then we basically print the linked list using this function print list then we are going to call the function add one uh, which which is basically the crux of our algorithm and then we'll again print the linked list so this will be the original linked list here and this will be the linked list after one has been added to it so let's look at the uh, print list function first so print list function is basically a utility function where we are just traversing the linked list uh, so we have a condition in the while loop that uh, till the time node is not equal to null you keep running the loop and inside the loop you just uh, print the element and then you update the node to the uh, next of node after you are done printing the link left you output a new line corrector so that was the print left function now let's head to the uh, add one function so uh, this is the add one function where the algorithm starts so it takes as an argument the head of the linked list. So uh, remember here we, we are passing the head of the linked list. So that is what we get as an uh, argument here. So first of all, as per the algorithm, we'll reverse the linked list. In the end, we'll again reverse the linked list. And in between, we call the add one util function. So uh, this is the step one, this is the step two, and this is the step three. So uh, let's first discuss about discuss about the step two, uh, which is the whole crux of the algorithm. Uh, and then we'll uh, head over to the reverse function. So add one util function. So in this function, uh, what we do is we have uh, these variables uh, result where we store the head. So this will be head of the linked list, which we are going to return in the end. So because we are going to uh, change the variable head here, so we just keep uh, the head stored, original head stored inside the result variable. 
and then we return it then we have the variable temp previous and the value of previous is equal to null that is the initial value and we have the uh, variable carry which is equal to one so remember we have to add just one to the number so that is why we are initializing the variable carry with one but otherwise it is meant to have the whatever value is carried from uh, one significant bit to the next significant bit but because we are adding just one so uh, it, its value uh, will be at most one or it will be zero so uh, yeah and this is the variable sum so we are going to uh, traverse the linked list here so uh, we calculate the sum the sum is the sum of uh, sum of the uh, uh, nodes current value so heads data and the carry so we do a, a sum here then uh, we calculate the value of carry so if a sum is greater than or equal to 10 then the carry will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 then we update the value of sum as sum percentage 10 uh, this means that if sum is greater than 10 then it will uh, divide it by uh, 10 and the remainder will be returned inside the sum this we are doing because uh, we have already stored the carry inside the carry variable so we can uh, we should uh, we should actually update the sum variable by reducing its effect from the sum variable then we uh, set the heads data to sum then we uh, store the head inside the temp variable and then we update the head equal to uh, next of head so in this way we keep on traversing the linked list uh, and and we keep on uh, adding the carry to the nodes data and once this loop is done so after traversing the linked list uh, this will be breaking out of this loop because head will be equal to null and that's when we break out of the loop so uh, if there is still carry uh, which is existing inside the uh, variable carry then uh, we create a new node and then we assign the temp uh, the next of temp to the new node so if the number is say 999 so the, if we add one so uh, in that case the number goes from a three digit number to a four digit number so in that case this part of the code will be executing and in the end i have discussed we will return the result variable uh, which will have the original value of the head inside it so now let's look at the uh, function reverse so in this reverse function uh, again we have as an argument the head now here we will be maintaining three variables uh, one will be previous then current and then next so the initial value of previous will be null because there is no previous value to the current element right now the value of the current will be set to head and there is no next as of now so we'll keep it as it as it is then we uh, run a loop while current is not equal to null so first of all uh, we update the variable next here so next is equal to next of current so now uh, previous current and next all three variables have their values now uh, because we have to change the connections for the current variable so we update the uh, next pointer of the current to previous so right now it was pointing to the uh, next node now it is pointing to the previous node uh, when when the loop uh, when this while loop starts so in the beginning the value of the previous will be null and that that should be the uh, the correct behavior so it will be null in the first iteration but in the next iterations it will have the uh, previous nodes uh, reference then we update the previous to current so once you have updated the uh, next pointer of the current then we update the uh, previous variable itself as the current and then we move the current to next so this is basically like uh, originally saying uh, current equal to next of current but because we have changed the pointer next of the current so we are using the next variable uh, so once this loop is uh, done then we just return the previous variable which will have the pointer to the uh, reversed to the head of the reverse linked list or to the last node of the original linked list uh, so as you must have guessed that this is the structure of the linked list so int data and uh, node star next 
uh, also uh, here uh, at many places we were creating new nodes so the function to create a new node uh, is here so we just pass the data you create a new node here uh, and then you uh, set its data value to the data which was passed as an argument then you set its next uh, pointer to null and then you return the node that's it now uh, let's look at another implementation so uh, this is a recursive implementation uh, here we will uh, not need to reverse the link list because we are actually going to recursively go to the uh, least significant bit and then we uh, in the outward fashion will be coming to the most significant bit uh, and adding the carry if necessary so uh, here is the function node add one so you have the uh, variable int carry and this is the main function here which will be uh, having the uh, algorithm so add with carry where we pass the head so this function will return the carry if uh, if if suppose uh, the uh, number the number of digits are increasing so if you have a number 99 and you add one to it so the number becomes 100 so the number becomes uh, from two digit number to a three digit number so in that case only it will return a carry otherwise it will return zero so let's see uh, what this function is all about so here you check if the link if the head is null then you just return one because uh, there is basically no node left so you return one if if head is not equal to null in that case you come here you execute this part of the code where you having the result variable as uh, data of head plus add with carry uh, head of neck uh, next of head so this is the this is the place where we are making the recursive call so we keep on making this recursive call uh, so this will uh, move the uh, the uh, the call stack from the most significant bit to the least significant bit and when we reach the uh, least significant bit so at that time uh, the next of head will be null so this will be returning the value 1 and thus we will be adding the value 1 to the uh, data of the head and we'll be getting the value in the result then we update the uh, data so head data should be a res percentage uh, 10 so uh, basically module of uh, 10 so this will ensure that uh, we are not having a value uh, greater than 9 so if we are having a value greater than 9 then we are actually returning that value here so uh, result uh, divided by 10 so uh, if, if it is value is 10 then in that case the head data will become uh, 0 because of this and the returned value will be 1 otherwise the returned value will be 0 and the uh, head data will be whatever value there is so once this is done so uh, only part left will be uh, this code to be executed so the recursion is over uh, uh, in this step then if suppose a two digit number becomes a three digit number after uh, adding one to it so in that case we add a new node so if there is a carry then we create a new node and then we uh, basically assign the data uh, of the new node to carry and then we update its next pointer and then we return the new node if that is not the case then we just return the head pointer so that is all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link to uh, to uh, to run the code which we just discussed and to also uh, and to and, and to also uh, see yourself whatever stuff we discussed thank you very much